By default, when you create an online store with WooCommerce, this is how your other email templates will look like, which is very traditional and boring. Let's see how we can change it from this boring template to this professional and nice looking template. With this template, you'll be able to add your social media icons, your emails, and even add a button which will take your users to the shop page of your website, which can help increase your conversion rates. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize WooCommerce email templates. If this is what you want, then keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. This is the website on which I want to customize the other email templates. If you want to create an online store, just like this very one right here, I will leave a complete tutorial to it in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out after you have finished watching this very tutorial. So to customize my WooCommerce email template, I'm going to install a plugin. And this is the very plugin I'm going to use, Email Template Customizer for WooCommerce. So what I do is, I'll just go ahead and copy the name of the plugin. I can exit out of here. Then I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to Plugins, click on Add New. Under Search Plugins, I paste in the name of the plugin I've just copied. And this is the very plugin I click on Install Now. Then I go ahead and activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Next, I go over to WooCommerce. Then I click on Settings. Inside the WooCommerce settings, I choose emails. In here, there are a whole lot of email templates I can customize using the plugin we've just installed. For this demonstration, I'll show you how to customize any of the templates for which the customer will be receiving messages when they make an order. And I'm going to use order processing templates. So I go ahead and click on edit. Right here, I have the order processing template. I click on edit. And this is how the template will look like. Now let's start customizing it. The first thing I'm going to change is the logo right here. So I go ahead and select it. Then I go ahead and take this off. That is your logo. I just click on the X icon to take it off. And I'm going to add my actual logo. To do that, I make sure I go over to components and I drag in the image component and the basic content. So I click on it and drag it in here. And the image right here, I select my image. I already have my logo in my media library. I just go ahead and select it. Then I click on select and it is right here. The next thing I'm going to do is change the background. So I go ahead and select the background and I change the color from here. There's a color code in there. I just go ahead and highlight it and I enter my own color code. I'll enter a color which will match with the colors of my website. Next, I select this text. I go ahead and highlight it from here and I will link it to my contact page. I've entered my contact page link. I click on OK. Going down, let's assume I don't need this particular section. What I do is I just hover on it and I click on this X icon to take it off. Similarly, you can go ahead and remove any section you don't want. The next thing I want to do is move this button to a different location. So I just go ahead and grab it. Then I drag it down and I want to take it to where I remove the other section. The button is still selected and I'm going to change the text on it. And this is where I do that. I enter shop more products. And I'm going to link it to the shop page of my website. And this is where I enter the link. I've already copied the link to my clipboard. I just go ahead and paste it in. Next, I change the background color of the button. And this is where I do that. I just highlight the color code that is already in there. Then I go ahead and enter in the color code I want to use. Awesome. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Going down, I'm going to add my social links to the icons right here. I just select it. The first one I have is Facebook. And this way, I enter the link.
Similarly, I do the same thing for the rest of the social media icons. You see that at the moment we have Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And the reason why they are showing is that we have the URL right here, which is at the moment set to hashtag. If I want to display YouTube, you see that the URL is empty. If I enter hashtag in here, you see the YouTube icon. I also have my email address here through which my customers can get in touch with me and then a link to my privacy policy page as well as the help center, which we have already linked up right here to the contact page. So similarly, you can go ahead and link up the privacy policy page as well as the contact page. The last thing I'm going to do in here is change the background color of the footer. So I select it and this way I change the color from, I just highlight it, then I enter in my own color. Perfect. All is set. I click on update. Now I can exit out of here by clicking on this left arrow, which will take me to the dashboard. And in here, you have all the email templates you can change on your website. Now, if I go to the front end of my website, I'll just visit the store. Then I add any of these products to the cart. Maybe I want to add two. I can view the cart. Proceed to checkout. Next, I fill in my billing details. I select my payment gateway. I accept the terms. Then I go ahead and place the order. Thank you, your order has been received. Now let's check the email the customer will receive. I have a new email here. I just go ahead and open it up. And this is how our new email template will look like. Awesome. This is very clean and professional. So from here, users will see the product they have bought, their payment and shipping details, as well as their billing details. They can easily go ahead and click on this button which will take them to the shop page of our website. And with this, you'll be able to increase your conversion rates. Now, if we come back to emails under WooCommerce settings, where I showed you how you can edit the order processing template. Similarly, you can go ahead and edit the rest of the templates we have right here. Just by clicking on the pencil icon beside the particular one you want to customize. So that's it on how to customize your WooCommerce order template. If this is kind of complex for you or you are looking for a simple way to customize your WooCommerce order templates, make sure you stick around to watch this video on your screen right now. Keep watching and I will see you inside that video.